we had a wide variety of, of views that were represented. And on behalf of the minority members of my team, I, I have to say that they strongly felt that the views of Mexican Americans, the views of Japanese Americans, the views of Filipinos and some of those others felt that if we only show one viewpoint of American acquisitions of lands, it, it denigrates their heritage. So we're in an awkward position and we're looking for a word that's going to, to honor the sacrifices of those Mexican Americans without losing the, the privilege of being American and that expansionist nature. So if, if, if people out there, our experts, have got a word that are going to help us honor that, I don't know that we're stuck with imperialism, but, but to show respect for the members of all of the team, they felt some very strong opinions on both sides of that, and we would welcome that one word that would encompass everybody's points of view because it has very strong feelings in both directions. Okay. Well, I would encourage you to um, seek out the advice of the experts, but at Absolutely. this point, I still favor the word expansionism. Okay. So I um, support what Don said. Also, Debbie, in 3C, the, the word propaganda is really bothering me. That is a, you know, when I taught SAT at review classes, you know, words have either a negative or a positive connotation, and that is a very negative word. So I and again, that goes back to our German Americans and some of the ways that, and some of the ways that it's presented in a positive okay. light. Um, did you have a, a suggestion for another? Uh, I think that that is something that the team needs to discuss. Okay. Um, I can certainly talk to you about that later. Sure. But I think that some of the literature that was passed out, for example, example by you know, President Wilson and et cetera, I, I just think there can be a better term for our students than propaganda.